Okay. Um, and it said it had some voice on it. And I can tell from looking um, right here that it says playback. There is some voice. So let me just play that back. I'll put, again, I'll put the speakerphone on. So it's going to go through its whole playback cycle now, and we'll watch whatever it is Judy told me. Steve, it's really important that I attend the Hilton Head Executive Conference. Look, Jan has already signed this. I just need your signature. OK, so I think I'll type my name here. I like things to be nice and neat. And I'll just sign it. And 488. Now, make that a little bit easier so they can read that. And all done. There's something else down here. I'll just grab the edge and move it. OK, requested rental. Fine. That, they can have the van. That's OK, too. And fine, we're done. Now let's go back to the desk. So you notice that we can type as well anywhere we want. No commands are required. Let me go back here and where I was and show you that, in fact, the piece of paper, which is that Lotus spreadsheet, is on my desk with all the notes that I made on it. And I, if I want, I could write more notes on it any time. If I make a mistake, though, and I want to erase something, I don't have to erase all the notes. I can just remember this, turn over the pencil, and erase it. So it works exactly like a pencil. You can write, erase, works just like the real thing. Let me tell you, nobody but Wang has that one. So uh, I showed you a minute ago how we could touch and move, touch and lift. Let me show you that this little menu over here, which appears in my lower left, if I touch it and lift, you already saw what that does. But if I touch it and move, it's smart enough. So you can put it anywhere you want it. I happen to like it in the lower left, so I'll leave it over here. Now we'll go back to my desk. I'll show you what the rest of these things do. Uh, I don't think I'll, I need to deal with this right now, so I'll just put it off to the side. And here's that TRA, and I can put that off to the side. In fact, I'll put it on my TRA list, deal with it later. Now, these are the various things that I have on my desk, choices that I can make. Let's go through them. Uh, by the way, you might be wondering, gee, if I touch and move those, will those move also? Let's try it. Sure, why not? If you can touch and move one thing, touch and move anything. You don't like the inbox there? Fine, put the inbox there, anywhere you want it. I'll just set it up the way I like it. Now, this is our printer. So if I want to print something out, all I have to do is, well, I'll take this one here, take it over to the printer, let it go, and in the center of my screen is my print utility. Looks just like a copier. How many copies do I want? Well, I think I'll choose two and hit start. What it's doing now, by the way, is it's going to take this uh, file, turn it into PostScript, and just mail it off to the uh, VS, to an LCS 15, which is sitting over here to my right. And it's just standard PostScript. Any PostScript printer will do. So it's on its way. And I'll show that to you in a minute. So that's how you use the printer. Here we have a scanner. And I, in fact, I was reading just this thing over here. It's an article about batteries. Kind of interesting. I need to tell Pat about it. So let me show you how that works. I stick it in the old scanner, like so, just like a copier, and select scan. And if I select the scanner, I think you'll find this pretty easy. Um, this is a colored picture, so I have to lighten it a bit because the color comes up kind of dark. And select start. And what it's doing now is scanning an image in, just like copier. And here it comes. Now, this one is kind of interesting. I, it tells me about the price of batteries and the size and power and how light they are. What I really need to do is tell Pat something about what we, where we need to build our battery. And I hear a little noise over here. Let me go to my desk for a minute. Just let go to desk. And now this image will be placed on the desk. Meantime, here's the output, high quality. Because we use uh, laser fonts, it looks just like a typewriter. The writing looks just like a pen. I challenge you to tell me it wasn't written by a pen and isn't just a Xerox. OK, here's this particular scanned image. Let's look at it. And here's what I want to tell Pat in the batteries. If you look here, it says this is the power uh, that, that required, and this is how light they are. The lightest thing being a cross pen. That's pretty light. And the size of the, the circle tells you how much power. What we really want is right here. And so that's where Wang should be. So, Pat, right here. Make it right here. If you can get me a battery in this range, I think we can make some money. OK, that's the spot I'm looking for. Bye. And if I wanted to mail it, all I have to do is select a piece of blank paper right now and write Pat on it. And I want to get our attention, so I'll use the international attention-getting symbol. You all know this one. That gets everybody's attention. Go to my desk. Watch this. Real simple just like I would do it over here, only I'll do it electronically. 
Okay, so here you can see in the inbox, there it is. There's Pat, and here's the thing I want to mail to her. So all I got to do is put them together like so, take my stapler, staple them, and now as you can see, they are stapled, and we'll just put it in the mailbag. And where's M for Martin? There it is. And okay, Pat, on your way. And here comes the mail. And you watch the pieces go into the mailbag on its way to Pat. A couple more things on my desk of interest. One is the info sheet. And info tells me the history of the document, where it's been, and what's happened to it. Uh, for example, here's a, uh, a, a, this TRA I just had. Oops, selected the scanner by mistake. Didn't mean to do that. So if you don't mean to do it, just hit stop. It goes away. No problem. So we'll just take info and put it on top of this TRA. And it tells me it's a one-page document, which has never been printed or mailed. It tells me who the author was, the date, the time, and the session. It tells me that there was some tablet on it, some voice on it. In fact, the entire history of this document is recorded. So if I were, for example, to, uh, as I signed that TRA and I mailed it to somebody else and they mailed it to somebody else, everything is recorded for you. So you can always look back in time and get a complete history record. So what have we looked at so far? We've seen how we can staple, we see how we've unstaple, we see how we can print, we see how we can scan. Exit is a quit, we won't do that right now. We've checked info out. These two over here, that's your ruled paper and your blank paper. If I want, I can select a piece of ruled paper and anytime I can have lined paper. I'm not real neat, so I don't tend to use the lined paper, but some people like it. If you could just write little notes on it or you could type on it. And I'll go back to my desk. And you've already seen blank paper. And last but not least is the trash can. You want to throw something away, dump it in the trash. And if you forget, you need to get it back, you just touch the top of the trash can and you can empty the trash can. Last, exit. Now, exit's kind of important. What it means is it goes back to whatever it was doing. So whatever program you were running, whether it's Shark connected to the machine, whether it's Lotus, whether it's a, a, a terminal elimination connected to an IBM computer, doesn't matter. You go back to whatever you were last doing. So we've done all this stuff, and what's the last thing we did? I think it was Lotus, so I select exit, and here you are back at Lotus. So that's about it. Um, that's just about, oh, I don't know, 5%, I think, of what we planned so far. Oh, one more thing I didn't mention, but uh, in the address book, you can put a fax phone number. And so if I happen to select in my address book somebody's fax number, it will be faxed out to you. And if a fax comes in, ends up in your in-basket. So listen, thanks a lot for listening. Uh, hope you enjoyed. And if you've got any questions, you know where to reach me. Bye.